pain in the ass. I'm referring to Prince Charles, who plans on issuing a stark warning that the world has less than 100 months to act to save the Earth from irreversible damage due to climate change. The Prince will make this announcement at a speech in Rio de Janeiro on Thursday as part of a 10-day tour of South America, which he will visit, of course, by private jet. Mm. Joining us to talk about this is the man behind the website, TalkingAboutTheWeather.com, Harold Ambler. He's also the only person whose Huffington Post column, Ariana Huffington, actually had to apologize for, including me. Harold, let's start off first with the Huffington Post. You wrote a piece in early January called Mr. Gore apology accepted. What was it about? Well, I've uh, begun researching climate science pretty seriously in the last 18 months. Mm -hmm. I've been following weather and climate my whole life, but I read an article concerning a Russian solar physicist about 18 months ago by the name of Habilulu Abdusamatov. Mm -hmm. He heads the Russian space program solar uh, science division, mm -hmm. and he was predicting at that point a period of 30 to 50 years of global cooling, and right. I was like, that's odd. What's that about? <laughs> yeah. And I read more about him, and I read more about other solar physicists, mm -hmm. and I became increasingly interested in solar variability and other explanations of the recent warming and other things that would drive climate in the next generation. Mm -hmm. And so I put some of my research in that Huffington Post piece, mm -hmm. and I caught a lot of heck for it. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. and, uh, but I, and I'm glad I did. It was a great experience. Ariana uh, was good enough to publish me. That's what I'm going yeah. to say. But, you know, it was interesting because you went against dogma. There were, there, the assumption was that you were going to write about global warming on the Huffington Post, which meant you were going to accept the accepted assumptions about it, that it's happening and that it's horrifying and we have to panic. But instead, you did the exact opposite, and it literally freaked her out. And it, it kind of like, and people went after you. And it was kind of, and, and it was amazing was that she had to apologize. Uh -huh. And she said, she said if she had the choice, she wouldn't have published your piece. You kind of got to be proud of that. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, well, it was a very interesting experience. And I had presented myself to Ariana with several emails by that point over the course of the preceding two months. And yeah. she had responded to my emails. In every one of them, I said, I am a liberal. Mm -hmm. I question the anthropogenic global warming dogma. Mm -hmm. I question Al Gore. Mm -hmm. Every single one. And she had said, well, I'll refer you to my green editors. Her green editors published me at uh, her direction, I guarantee you, because they were clearly plugging their noses while they did so. <laughs> if not, I'd like to hear which one of them loved my piece so much that they published it. That person has never emerged, so yeah. I'll leave that to people to conclude for themselves. Do you think when their eyes just glaze over when they read, uh, like, anything, it's, it's like... When somebody is arguing about global warming, it, Bill will say this, he gets bored out of his mind, so they don't even bother paying <laughs> attention. Do you, <laughs> do you think that's what happens? <laughs> uh, that could be, but some people care about it too much. I yeah. might be even one of those people, I'm yeah. not sure. But there are those of us who take the science somewhat seriously. Yeah. And it is uh, a matter of great global concern. It's going to influence the way that we shape our economies yeah. globally for the next generation. So it might be a big deal. It's, it's amazing, though, because I, mean, you're, I think you're one of the first, uh, like you said, you're a liberal Democrat who questions this, this whole theology. It's this theology. Uh, you must not. You must cause a lot of problems at cocktail parties. <laughs> my wife was pretty alarmed when I started explaining to her where my research was leading me. Yeah. She said, "You can't, honey. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. People yeah. will hate us." Yeah. And it turns out that she was right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, it is uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. It was uncomfortable to be attacked by the Huffington Post the way I was after being mm -hmm. published by them two days earlier. Yeah. And um, it is what it is. People feel strongly about it, and I understand that. I want to ask you quickly, and then get to your book. I got one more question. You now do people question your credibility because you're basically you're a musician uh, with an interest in sports and climate, but you have no background in climate science. Uh, do they have a legitimate point or what? I don't have a PhD in science. Neither does uh, Prince Charles. Neither does <laughs> Al Gore. Yeah. Neither do any of the celebrities who've commented about global mm -hmm. warming. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I would say, as a concerned citizen, I have a right to study the subject and to comment on it as capably as I can. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I have been studying it pretty seriously. And I am uh, researching a book. Mm -hmm. And people will buy it or not buy it on yeah. its merits. Speaking of books, this is uh, uh, it's, uh, Ever True, The History of Brown Crew. Uh -huh. It's not what you think, Bill. It's about rowing. Uh, <laughs> uh, does, it, does it have any relationship to climate? Uh, well, here's why it does. Yeah. Uh, basically, I'm kind of an outdoorsy guy. Yeah. Uh, we were talking earlier, and I was a water polo player in high school. I was a wind surfer. I was a body surfer. I'm also a surfer. In college, I was a rower. I've been outdoors a lot, mm -hmm. looking at weather up close. I know weather and climate are not the same thing. Yeah. But if you read some of the things that are produced by 
various That's proponents true. of yeah. global warming, it's as though they haven't been outside recently. It's as though they <laughs> stare at their computer screen so yeah. long that they don't even look out the window. They may not have a window. Exactly. So, I do uh, actually care about weather, and I do love weather. Yeah. And as a rower, I did. I have some weather stories. That so yeah. it so turns out. So yes, they do connect in that level. Okay, excellent. Well, it's called the history of Brown Crew. Pick it up. It's about rowing. A whole look how big this. It's about <laughs> wow. rowing. Thank you, Harold Ambler. It's great. Please come Thank back. Uh, uh, great stuff. Uh, enjoy reading the, the post, and I'm going to try and break this open. All right, coming up next, I'll read your emails using my big fat.